Today in the Daily Dose, Stonehenge. Located on the Salisbury Plain of southern England, Stonehenge has mystified scientists and archaeologists for centuries. Since many of the multi-ton blue stones were relocated by Neolithic humans more than 200 miles from their source in the priestly mountains of Wales, without the aid of modern earth-moving technologies. Constructed in three phases, the first took place more than 5,000 years ago, when Neolithic Britons used primitive tools such as deer antlers to carve out circular ditches known as henges on the Salisbury Plain, followed several hundred years later by the addition of 80 non-indigenous bluestone monoliths which were dragged and lifted into a circular formation. 3,000 years after that, the third phase saw the addition of sandstone slabs, which make up the outer circle, including three stone structures known as trilithons. Lacking any modern engineering or construction techniques, one theory regarding how Stonehenge was made includes the use of sleds and roller logs combined with massive amounts of rope, oxen, and human muscle, while others believe that the boulders arrived by raft first along the Welch coastline, then up the river Avon toward the Salisbury Plain. Still others suggest that glaciers, not humans, moved the rock during the last ice age, while 17th century archaeologist John Aubrey claimed that Stonehenge was created by Celtic Druid priests which has since been debunked by radiocarbon dating techniques, placing Stonehenge's final phase of construction to roughly 1,000 years before the Celts inhabited the region. In the 1960s, astronomer Gerald Hawkins suggested that Stonehenge was used as an astronomical calendar of sorts, which allowed Neolithic man to track solstices, equinoxes, and eclipses. His theory was later discounted due to southern England's near constant lack of cloudless days or nights. In more recent times, after human remains were exhumed from shallow graves in and around Stonehenge, signs of illness and injury clearly catalogued in each exhumed body led a group of British archaeologists to propose that Stonehenge was a place of healing due to Bluestone's perceived curative powers. Today, Stonehenge sees an estimated one million visitors a year who come to ponder not only the wonders of Stonehenge, but also the region's many Neolithic and Bronze Age marvels. In 1986, Stonehenge was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site, making Stonehenge one of the most highly debated mysteries of ancient man. And there you have it. The Mysteries of Stonehenge, today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose. And if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.